हेलो एवरी वन गुड इवनिंग होप यू ऑल हैड अ ग्रेट दिवाली बिलेटेड दिवाली विशेष टू एवरी वन एंड हैप्पी न्यू ईयर वेलकम टू अनदर एपिसोड ऑफ दी ऑर्थो कोलेबरेटिव लेट्स वेट फॉर अ वाइल एज वी एक्सपेक्ट आर गेस्ट टू जॉइन इन टूडेज गेस्ट इज अ रिपीटिंग गेस्ट शी इज अपियरिंग ऑन दी शो फॉर द सेकेंड टाइम एंड आई हैव रिसेंटली रेड हर डेब्यू नॉवल अ प्राइज टू लव एंड आई रियली लव डेट we are going to be talking about that book and i'm going to ask her a few questions about how she went about writing the book what was her experience of uh, you know writing it getting it published how is the book being received and everything related to the book world of books and publishing hello everyone thank you for joining we have our guest here i'm just going to add her wait for a few seconds as she joins us Hi Smita how are you I am great Manali how are you doing <laughs> I'm also very good just you know uh, in the festive season hangover still <laughs> Yes I know festivities are going on this week was relatively <laughs> relaxed and yes. uh, after yesterday work has also piled up at the office yeah. open and everything <laughs> <laughs> Yeah <laughs> uh firstly congratulations on your debut novel a price to love i was just telling the audience that i have recently read it and also welcome back to the show you are coming to the show one more time <laughs> thank you thank you so much manali i can't believe a year has passed it just seems like yesterday that we had the first conversation in your live show and thank you for feeling me worthy enough to invite back to your Definitely, definitely i in fact i uh, when you announced your uh, novels release uh, i was one of the few people who was very excited you know and when you began the promotion i was like this is the book i am really looking forward to <laughs> because that was i already am a fan of your shorter form of writing short stories and when you to announced that you are putting out a novel i was like i have to read this <laughs> Thank you so much, Manali. Really grateful for all the love and support. My review is already out, and I guess you have also read it. Uh, for those of you who haven't read my review, you can go check out uh, the full re- detailed review of why I love the book so much on my blog. Uh, the link is available on my Bookstagram account, which is Bookish Witch. And before we go further into the conversation, I just want you to show the book to the people so we they get the context of what we are talking about. <laughs> Oh, okay, so here is it. Is it visible? Yes, yes, definitely visible. It's you know you have picked one of my favorite colors, blue, and <laughs> it's a it's a very nice cover. Cover depicts the story quite nicely. You know the overall summary of the story is visible in the cover itself. And once you read the book, you realize, कि हाँ ये 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 just है story का. you know when we were doing the cover so conceptualization hota hai so i had told the designer either blue or red so the hmm. first uh, version that came it had both okay so i looked okay. at this i looked at red and i am like nahi we are going ahead with blue and then further <laughs> development was done there so the choice was between either or i thought nahi let's go with blue वैसे भी स्लाइस ऑफ लाइफ वाज पिंक सो आई थॉट अ ब्लू विल बी डिफरेंट अदरवाइज इट वुड हैव बीन सिमिलर पिंक सिमिलर या ओके वी हैव नीलेशी हियर हाय नीलेशी थैंक यू फॉर जॉइनिंग uh before i barge into the questions of what i want to ask you about the book and your you know experience related to everything about it why don't we begin the session by you reading out a few passages from the book okay oh. so i wasn't expecting it but here we go let me see what i want to do yeah okay the white waves kiss the boulders on their way and dance towards the shore onlookers could see their faces on the pristine water the cool breeze was a welcome respite from the onslaught of the yellow ball of fire there weren't many tourists in the village in the peak summer the few tourists present congregated where the grove of co- coconut trees doubled up as umbrellas as they relaxed on the sands sonia sat enjoying her solitude atop one of the boulders her dark sunglasses and round hat making her stand out in the crowd after sitting for an hour she got up gingerly careful to maintain her balance sonia liked coming to the beach 
a part of her daily routine for the last two months. She glanced at her watch. There was time to kill before leaving for the day's volunteering activity. Visitors stay for more than a month were required to undertake a voluntary duty as per Oroville's guidelines. Sonia had opted to serve lunch at Solar Kitchen on the weekends while spending three hours of weekdays teaching at the local kindergarten. Uh, I think that was good enough. Yes, yes. Yeah. And uh, I like that you picked a part where, you know, you are intrigued about what has happened before and after this. <laughs> Yes, I know. So you asked me and, you know, I opened the book it directly. I am also not going to reveal, you know, which part of the book it is from. Let let the audience keep guessing that. <laughs> we both know where it belongs in the book, but, you know, we want to maintain that curiosity. Uh, sure. Devansh is so saying... Manali, so, yeah. Yes. So before we go ahead, let me request you, since you asked me to read a passage, why don't you also read a poem? Oh, yes. Yeah. Sure, sure. Of course. Uh, we have a few comments here. Uh, can't be called an author interview. Or authors talk without a passage reading. Definitely. I mean, uh, why are we talking with each other if not for promoting each other's book and creating a curiosity amongst the audience? Sure. <laughs> Okay. Uh, do you have any particular one that you that's a favorite and you would like for me to read? Not, I would not say a favorite, but I would still like you to read it. Homecoming. Ah, yes. Okay. I will read that. Let me just get to it. So this one is titled Homecoming and it goes Homecoming, Rejoicing, an arrival after ages, mind, body, heart and soul, all eagerly awaiting, with stars and tearful eyes that matched those on his uniform, the sacrifice worth the pride, a hero returns, a family rejoices, a nation secured. That is great, Manali. Thank you. you know why I asked you to pick. <laughs> it should have gone more, you know. You ended it. It was too short a poem, which I wrote in my review also. <laughs> yeah, I have had a few more uh, readers come and tell me that this 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 deserved a you know bigger poem, a few more pages because of the kind of dedication it provides to the heroes of the nation. So I was like, oh, yeah, I, I wish I could have also done that. And interestingly, in a, one of the previous sessions, I also confessed for the inspiration about this story, about this uh, poem, actually. And you know where it came from? You would be surprised. For the prequel to your story, The War Within, <laughs> the one which, I, which was part of Under the Mistletoe and other stories. <laughs> Oh, okay. So I'm happy to be providing inspiration to a fellow author so early in my career. So I'm honored. I would not have guessed it. So thank you for sharing. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So uh, going on with the session, after the reading of the book, I was curious not only about how the characters came about, but I also want to know your experience of writing and how you went about writing it. And I have a few questions for you. Are you ready for those? Yeah, absolutely. I did agree to come, don't I? So shoot. <laughs> so uh, you have now written a short stories compilation and, and a novel. So tell us the two things that are similar in both the forms of writing and two things that are very different in both the forms. Okay, so I will start with the similarities. First, the both the short story and the novel need, you know, we need to follow the three act form to entice the reader. That is, it should have an enticing beginning, a mm. middle full of conflict, and a resolution. Mm. I won't say satisfactory or unsatisfactory, but there should be a logical resolution. So that right. is one. And second, uh, the character, at least for me, the character arcs need to be equally well developed. Mm. No matter where you set your story or novel, no matter what the plot is, it is the characters that entice the reader. Hmm. The readers relate to the story because of the characters. So in both hmm. the cases, they need to be developed. The differences is that uh, 
in a short story story there is a very less scope for you to do elaborate descriptions mm-hmm. and you know those metaphors and other literary devices because the words are limited the space is limited and yet you have to keep the reader engaged mm-hmm. so characters i would say characters require more focus on a short story because you have to convey the essence the message you want to give in fewer words mm-hmm. a right. novel has no word limit or space limit as such mm-hmm. so you know you can actually elaborate on the setting the background and description right. so that's where the difference lies and uh, a novel in a novel the reader needs to be invested for a longer period of time obviously short story is you know anything between even 2 minutes to 15 20 minutes but a novel right. is you know days to complete it so yeah. there needs to be a lot more subplots and supporting characters yeah, right. in a mm. novel versus the short story so it's definitely more complicated for a writer when one attempts a novel yeah okay. uh, but uh, uh, i have a different slight i don't know it's my view point or not i have not experienced it personally because i find both the forms of writing equally challenging but uh, i have since i have written uh, short stories and micro tales more than i have written novels i have had a few fellow authors come and tell me that how i am able to convey uh, what i want to convey in such less words so they find it difficult to put you know their message in shorter forms of writing do you also feel that way no i don't because uh... see like you i have been also writing a short stories right so i'm used to the format and uh, actually it's new. both novel and short stories have their own challenges but exactly. for me okay i would say more the words the space i have the more i think okay how to keep the reader engaged for a longer yeah, period right. of time yes the shorter space i have it is okay i anyway have a short space short time so i have to convey the essence you know <laughs> right so, for yeah. me actually you know i don't find it challenging yeah, similar same, same to for me for table in different formats right <laughs> so i think we will feel the same to a certain way okay uh, so my turn now yes um shall i go ahead Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> okay, so um, as I just said, like me, you dabble in different formats of writing. So, is there a method uh, on how you plan uh, to write your poem or short stories or a novel? Share something about the process before you decide the format. Uh, so for me, it's always about what I want to convey. Uh, if it's a for me, nonfiction is always about. Uh, personal experiences i have not written anything beyond my personal experiences when it comes to non fiction so if it's a personal experience based writing uh, anything whether it's a blog post or anything else it has to come out of my own experience if we are talking about fiction then there is only three forms of writing that i have dabbled in that's poetry poetry cannot be under fiction it's a completely different genre but we are going to consider it under fiction for this conversation at least so in fiction there is poetry there is micro fiction and uh, short stories or novel in this particular form of writing uh, i go as per the message if the message that i want to convey is easily conveyable in the form of a poem that's that's my first go to but if that is not getting conveyed i might go for a micro tale or a short story mm-hmm. even if that is not happening it needs more essence it needs more number of words than i would go for a novel that happened with me when i was uh, working on my debut novel love triangle i began it as a short story or a novel but then the essence was not getting conveyed so i was like nahi isko bada karna hai isko debut novel hi bana dete hain so that's basically how i work okay that's interesting manali you mean you didn't set to write love triangle as a novel Yes. it was distinct yes. this time to be an idea came to me but when i began the idea was to uh, you know put it out in uh, maybe 80 to 100 pages but it was not getting conveyed so i was like nahi so it then ultimately became a 140 page novel hmm okay so some things are just destined it yes. um, goes on to show okay can i ask a follow on question here yes If yes so of the three formats manali Uh, which do you enjoy writing the most i think poetry because it comes very naturally to me now it's i always say, say that poetry is like my second skin now an idea just comes to me and uh, 
anywhere between 20 minutes to 2 hours you have the poem ready so because i am more comfortable with it and because i have written it for a longer period of time i am most comfortable and i enjoy poetry the most okay that's great you know that is one of the formats i am not writing much though i am a published poet in one of the anthologies but uh, by choice because i write a lot of non fiction also and then by choice at least for now i have decided to i'm not able to write poetry as much as i would write because i'm too too involved in other format so i'm like okay maybe you know anyway i will keep on writing for so long as i live so i'm like okay poetry ka time bhi aayega exactly <laughs> so we have a few comments here uh, shubha lakshmi mohanty has said uh, smita jain's readers are able to connect with their day to day life with her stories readers do enjoy the way they are able to connect with your stories Oh, thank you so much, Sova Lakshmi, and that is my India where I always most of my stories are contemporary setting, you know, brought up from day to day life because I want people to relate to it. Thank yeah. you, thank you for telling me that it is having the desired impact. Ah, uh, we also have Nilashi saying you have a very sweet guest today, Manali. I remember our chat. <laughs> thank you so much, Nilashi. uh and then we have divan singh i find both forms challenging in the sense that uh the essence needs to be conveyed how much is too little and too less that is the sweet sweet spot you have to basically find yes very true divan oh. which brings me to my next question uh after the story of course the in fact as important as the story <laughs> are the characters so your debut novel and your protagonist is somebody i loved i i fell in love with her and i have all also mentioned that in my review but i have read other reviews and i when i read the book also i know that you know this is a problematic character not many people will like her <laughs> so tell us about that and how you went about writing such a you know gray shades character one who makes questionable choices okay so when i set up writing this novel i definitely didn't envisage or i definitely didn't set up to write a controversial character so has to put it uh, but i i was very clear see i started writing this novel after conceptualizing the character of sonia hmm. and i knew two things one she would be an ambitious career woman not hmm. a woman who is in periphery or you know who is also working but work is on the sidelines i mean aajkal aise women kaun hote hai you are a career woman i'm a career woman yeah. is we we you know we arrange our life around work rather than yeah. the other way around especially yeah. at the you know at the time of life that we are in currently at the stage of life but uh, in india i never found such novels from indian authors it is always you know women at the periphery uh, or you know working just for the heck of it and i'm like okay my novel will have a career woman <laughs> and she is very ambitious and work is the primary thing or one of the key primary thing and second i will have a flawed character hmm. because life see everyone has shades of black and white um you know i am not 100% perfect you are not 100% perfect and none of the audience that we have today as nice as they are no one will be 100% perfect you can't be even gods are not like that so i'm like i will depict a human character who has flaws hmm. so that is the thing you know that was the only thought i had when i set about writing this novel and creating sonia and less after that everything happened organically sonia created herself i was just the medium or rather my fingers on my laptop were the medium and the character wrote itself uh even when i finished and i'm like talking about a normal woman who has flaws and the flaws has reasons okay it goes right, back right. to the childhood which has you know transformed into something you know in the in the mental sphere and that is why she's doing what she's doing which she realized pretty late so i didn't envisage it will create controversy but yes uh, after writing the first draft when i handed it out to beta readers for their feedback so that i could incorporate it was then when the beta readers came with their feedback and both were women and it was then that i realized okay that there would be controversy but i realized that was not just a bad thing see uh, anyway uh, whatever you do people will have comments at least with sonia Love her or hate her, you can't ignore it, hmm. and that is what we 
people are talking about her so i'm like okay i can't please everyone personally uh, as a person i don't condone sonia's actions far from it i'm very opposite to her but even though i don't condone her who am i to condemn her because hmm. you know one never goes what goes beneath the cover you can't judge a book yeah. by its cover there are layers there exactly. so yes. as i said you know everything is based on contemporary setting there are people like sonia out there <laughs> and i also wonder manali is this whatever controversy or are people commenting because sonia is a woman had i had a men behave like that would it have generated so much comments mm-hmm. lately i have been wondering is it because of the actions of the protagonist or is it because of the gender, gender of, the of the protagonist right and maybe yeah, we should throw this question to an audience so for for those of you who have joined us and have read the book uh, smita has an interesting question did you have a problem with the choices of the uh, female, uh, female lead in her novel because of what she did because of what or gender is we that's an interesting way to look at it i think what you are saying is partly true if not completely true that it is because of her gender yes because uh, we live in a society where there is more license given to a man than a woman and, i mean it is a reality nothing right or wrong we are living in such times and society i mean we are product of this society but right. yeah i hope i mean I, i think was a long answer to your short question but yeah i didn't said about creating a controversial character the character was destined to be like this and so it we have to go lakshmi commenting that uh, she's saying partly true yes i also agree it's partly definitely true yeah hmm. even though it might not be 100% so definitely more than 50% that's for sure i'm so bad uh which brings us to the most interesting part of our session which is the rapid fire round are you ready so oh, hold on i have hmm. another question oh yes hmm. what inspired a piece of uh, your mind for a piece of mind okay and how much time did you take to conceptualize and publish okay those so, uh, the conceptualization happened in april 2022 i was taking part in this campaign on blog chatter which is a community of bloggers they had this month long long campaign where you know we had to uh, write a blog post around each alphabet of the uh, you know english alphabet a to z so i wrote 26 poems as part of that particular campaign so uh, so 26 out of those 45 poems which are a part of this book happened in april 2022 and when i decided to put them together in the form of a book i realized that 26 poems are very less i say this out of personal experience because for my debut poetry book which was a rustic mind i had 32 poems and a lot of readers came back and told me that 32 poems is very less you should put more poems because they are really good and we would like to read more so utna to pakka tha ki 26 nahi karni hai 26 se zyada chahiye so uh, that's when i you know uh, continued the theme which i had worked on during that particular uh, a to z challenge so those 26 poems dheere uh, dheere they become th- became 35 i was writing new poems and then i realized i already had a few poems on that theme which i had written a few years back on over the course of the last couple of years or last 2 3 years so i added those also into the collection so in essence if you see conceptualization to the final publishing maybe 5 months but a few of the poems were written a long back time so we could also say 2 3 years <laughs> okay so again this book is something that wrote itself right it would not have happened had it not been for the block charter campaign yes, definitely and, not yeah and then again you know if you hadn't had some poems in the repository from before or maybe it would have taken longer yeah okay so why didn't you bring out a paperback why only ebook manali you know with me i my thing is that i want to test out how the ebook works then i you know go ahead with the paperback my my thinking has been like that for the past couple of years and i have done it in the past four books that i have written now i i generally you know set out a target for myself that if the ebook crosses a certain number of reviews or has a particular kind of rating then i will opt for the paperback because i know that paperback ka you know kam ho raha hai market so ebooks are the are on the rise they will reach a wider audience i know that 
Hmm. Okay, it's interesting, and I'll chat you with this online, offline, because I also think, but I don't have statistics. So I'll chat up with you if you have some statistics. What makes you feel the same way? Because yeah, yeah. I also feel the same. It would be interesting. To yes. Yeah, you were uh, the rapid fire round. Rapid fire round. Yes, the most interesting part. <laughs> I will just open the questions. Okay, so now you have read three of my books, and as a reader, I want to know which one would you pick: Love Triangle, Under the Mistletoe, to Another Stories, or Poe Pom, the latest one. Well, without a doubt, Love Triangle, because I'm a sucker for romance. Okay, and so that is the only reason that it was a very, very one of the best romance novels that I have written, and I, I, I have read, and I have read a lot of romantic novels. So Thank you so much. This means a lot because you know how debut novels matter to people who are doing it for the first time. Longer forms of writing, so that means a lot. Thank you. <laughs> yes. Now the tricky so, part. Hmm? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, poem, fiction, or non-fiction? Your favorite format as a writer? As a writer, poetry, always. Okay. Yeah. And you said always. What's the reason for that? Sorry, uh, I I think we uh, have someone commenting. Uh, that's why I was a little distracted. Devansh is saying I have a bunch of screenshots from this Amazon book marketing webinar that I attended earlier today. If either of you are, oh yes, please uh, share it with us, Devansh. Uh, that would be really helpful for us. Yes. Hmm. So I was asking, what is the reason that you said poetry always? Ah, uh, because I have written it for the longest. time period uh, i have been doing poetry since i was a teenager maybe even before a year or two before that maybe since i was 11 or 12 i don't remember the exact time period but i have been doing it for more than 20 years now that's for sure <laughs> that's a lifetime almost for some yeah. of us who might have been no. wait i am calculating probably uh, more than 15 years wow i am no- <laughs> miscalculating my own age <laughs> <laughs> so uh yeah definitely more than 15 years so it comes uh, very easily to me uh, having said that i think it depends on what form of writing what you have done for the longest period that you become more comfortable with that so for you probably it might be short stories because you have done that for a longer period hmm yeah you were right Though my longer period is still nowhere close to your fifteen years, but yes, uh, it is uh, like I'm most comfortable in short stories. Yes, as we said, we start the poems. Yeah. Okay. Your turn now. Yes. So uh, I have already asked you cho- your choice uh, for my books. Now I want you to pick out of your books <laughs> from the two books that you have written. Which was your favorite, and which one did you enjoy writing more? Oh, enjoy writing more. I would say uh, it is a prize to love because the fact is that I set about writing a novel, and because mm-hmm. it was a novel, it is one novel is complicated, and if you realize there are so many things on a prize to love, it has romance, it has a message, complicated relationships, troubled childhood, and mm-hmm. how you know. I mean, thinking about the plot itself was a challenge. Leave aside, you know, to and that back and forth. format that it is set out in uh in case of a slice to life i don't set up i didn't set about writing a slice of life i wrote short stories and then there were so many short stories that i decided so i came up with a book so that yeah. was never the idea the book just wrote itself so yeah, yeah i remember yeah, like, having like, this uh, this chat in our previous session that you know you you were just collecting stories and then it became a compilation worthy of putting together in a book <laughs> yeah that's how it happened Okay, so my turn now. Okay, yeah. so I know now you asked me a tough question there because it is difficult to pick amongst your own work. So it's my turn. Okay, between a uh, piece of your mind for peace of mind and love triangle, I'll just consider two here. Okay, so to keep it simple, uh, what would you pick up as a writer? What is closest to your heart? Love triangle for sure because uh, it was a debut. of sorts i mean uh, not a debut book but a debut novel and uh, also because i think uh, it was a challenge for me i completed that book in the first draft was completed in two and a half months so i am really proud of myself for doing being able to do that 
and for somebody who was doing it for the first time i was like i have to pat myself on the back because itna jaldi first time kuch kar rahe ho aap try aur itna jaldi first draft ho jana that's that's a really good thing of, also of course people have loved it and you know people are still loving it that's that's another added on you know uh, thing that makes me choose love triangle over peace of mind but yes definitely love triangle mm, great okay hmm so yeah your turn. yes uh, so let's talk about the casting because i know you have definitely thought about the you know screen <laughs> screen adaptation of the book already so i want to know your dream cast for the characters all the lead characters of atp you know somebody uh, actually said in one of the insta live session he was the first person to ask me this question and after that so many people have asked me this question that now even i have started believing that the novel will be in big screen someday <laughs> so now i have become more sure about casting since i have been thinking about what people have been feeding in my mind so uh, for sonia's part definitely deepika padukone i mm. think no one else to be able to that she is a complex character yeah and a love it sort of relationship i think nobody better than her to carry it off uh for samip's character i would say uh, ayushman khurana i think he fits hmm. best which hmm. i've thought of a period of time that he would fit the part rishabh's character will be amir khan Oh, and uh, yes, it is that mature character, yeah. okay? Yet who is you know sort of who has this lovey-dovey tendencies and all. Yet being mm-hmm. the mature age, I think he would be able to carry it off well. Um, Mehul's character, no, the, I would say, uh, Karthik Aryan. I think he will fit the bill. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, right. He would <laughs> definitely. He <laughs> has also that boyish charm, also too. Huh. <laughs> Yes, I do really, really wish that this musing someday comes. Yeah, manifesting. Through, right? Yeah, manifesting. It's happening. <laughs> okay. okay, so it's my turn now. Uh, you said poems are your favorite in the writing format. Okay, so which is your favorite poetry format? I don't really follow a format. I used to be someone who followed the you know A B C or A B A B. kind of a rhyming format i used to do that and i did follow that for quite a long time but then uh, when my debut book came out uh, all the poems were you know with with a particular rhyming scheme what happened with that particular book the reviews made me realize is that uh, the poems were losing their essence and me trying to force the words to become rhyming or you know a okay. trying to follow a particular format uske baad se i am like no i am not doing this i am going to go with you know what i want to convey and i will follow my own format having said that i have followed at least 26 different forms in this particular book which i came upon while writing the book uh, for the particular challenge that i am talking about a to z challenge i followed a different uh, form of poetry for each poem of that particular emotion and i enjoyed it so it doesn't matter to me uh, as long as you know uh, i am getting to enjoy the process of writing i don't care about the format okay so free verse in a way yeah, basically free verse, free verse definitely yes great okay your turn yes uh, okay a uh, recent book that made you go like oh my god how is this a best seller <laughs> okay that has to be the maidens by alex miscellendes uh the book started well and it was everything but when it ended i was like how can it end like that and normally when endings are disappointing and the book is still a best seller i'm like ye kaise ho gaya and then i realized okay your reputation does matter because when you write a silent patient so automatically a market is created for your next book for most part it was well written but uh, the last one third especially the ending i did feel it was a let down and i in fact discussed with my husband for days and days like how <laughs> can it end like that how can book end like that and he had become a best friend uh, yeah <laughs> <laughs> that one have you read that book by the way no no i have not uh, i am going to check it out you have made me curious at least blurb to check karu main <laughs> for two thirds of the time it won't disappoint you and then last one third you will be like many utai ki ho thi for that okay 
Okay. Uh, uh, we have uh, Shubha Lakshmi saying, uh, "A Price to Love" novel is amazing. Though I have not completed reading the whole novel, I am in halfway of reading it and uh, started reading today itself after getting the novel in my hand. Oh, okay. Thank you so much, Shubha Lakshmi. Do let me know once you finish it that you know what is your complete take. Uh, and thank you, thank you so much. I know we are all short of time, so for you to pick up a novel and started reading it, so thank yeah. you. We also have Shristi saying hi. Good to see. Uh, thank you so much, Shristi, for joining us. And uh, they want to be agreeing with my viewpoint of you know the rhyming pattern to follow. Thank you. <laughs> He's also saying last two three lines just fall flat off the rails. Yeah. So don't force yourself force yourself to follow the a rhyming scheme. You know it. Uh, the poetry loses the essence. I think. uh he's also asking you alex uh, he's asking you about the book i think yeah lol i have similar thoughts about the silent patient the sudden oh, felt oh, felt, oh, felt, oh, a felt a much felt a bit much okay uh i don't know maidens definitely silent patient uh, to be honest and i think i'll be in a minority i felt that was too too predictable because one of the agatha christie books and i'm a big fan of agatha christie so one of her books had a similar plot So the moment I went through two chapters of Silent Patient, I knew where it was going to end. So for me, that was anyway. But it was still a good read uh, for those who haven't read Agatha Christie. Uh, but yeah, I think everyone as a reader, all of us are entitled to our own taste. Alex is a great, great author, and you know things happen. Ultimately, the book is a bestseller, and we are too small people to comment yeah. on. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> very true. Okay. Okay. Um, uh, my turn now. Okay. Hmm. Uh, so, your world beyond uh, writing in one word. My world beyond writing. Oh my God! I cannot even think. Uh, this question has been asked so much, and I always tend to answer with something related to books or movies. <laughs> so, I don't think I go beyond that particular realm. Like you know, reading, traveling, writing. That's it. <laughs> okay. So you said traveling, and you said movies. so that yeah. is beyond writing yeah. in a way okay yeah. cool hmm your turn my last one a uh, corporate fiction which you would recommend and why oh that is easy manali it is right <laughs> here i should have specified <laughs> besides your own <laughs> no so even if you had manali honestly i wrote this one because i could not see corporate fiction in india honestly there is no no corporate fiction okay you might have someone and the protagonist is working in corporate mm. but it is not set against the corporate mm. so there are movies like whether the movie was good or not but the corporate movie which came some years ago it still had a corporate setting set against yeah. that yeah. i haven't read a i have i have yet to read another book apart from my in fact i wrote this book because i wanted to read a book like oh, this picture. from an indian author mm -hmm. and i couldn't find it and that is the reason i wrote this so definitely a prize to love because it is genuinely based in corporate in and it has all the elements of human drama it so, does have yeah good okay. one <laughs> my last question okay uh, a slice of life or a prize to love as a reader a prize to love for sure because uh, acha uh, devansh is commenting uh, how about ravi subramanyam sir's books yes uh, that didn't come to mind yeah yeah but a fiction uh, that is mostly non fiction memoir types right no no he does write fiction also i think uh, if god was a banker is something i can recall off the top of my head uh uske alawa yaad nahi aa rahi hai mujhe koi acha then maybe i'm mistaken because i've all only or maybe i as a reader have only found of his non fiction work so it hmm. never you know came to my mind that he writes fiction also but now that i have mentioned i will definitely check it out there is also uh, an indie author uh, by the name of sandeep pawar uh, he has also written corporate fiction and he is really funny i uh, thank god i am fired and then there, there is uh, corporate blah 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 so both are nice books you can check okay. those out also sure i will i will man Hmm. Ha. So you were saying that you preferred a uh, price to love as a reader. Yes, uh, majorly because of Sonia. I have already talked about how much I love her, but uh, you know, uh, she addresses so much that that's you know that 
that message needs to be sent out to a wider audience so that's why and also because we need women like her in fiction and also in real life <laughs> <laughs> okay now that is interesting that you say but thank you so much uh, sonia's character is something that is really close to my heart not the least because she is complicated and uh, i didn't envisage that way as i said she wrote herself but yeah uh, she is complicated and that is the reason that i also love her uh devanth is uh, saying he has got a whole series of corporate fiction you should check it out yes uh, ravi subramaniam has i i can only recall one but i think i have read a couple more uh, so there's one if god was a banker uh, the other titles i am not able to recall okay so that just shows my ignorance and thank you devansh for pointing it out i will definitely check it out because when even when i was googling or something and that was years back when google wasn't as advanced and all i could find was foreign authors for corporate fiction and in fact i came into corporate initially i wanted to be a scientist and i came to corporate because i got influenced by one of those books from a foreign author that oh, i read about okay. men in corporate so that was another interesting story but i do recall you mentioning that you don't read many indian authors that is also there i i do remember that ha huh, from the last conversation i actually read the authors uh, who it's my fault who i have been reading and who i like Ah. Okay, so I do read something like a Chetan Bhagat, who is my hmm. favorite. I have read some books of Durjoy Datta. Don't hmm. read them any longer now, but I had read. C B is something I keep on reading. But those are the authors again because I've been reading and I liked. I picked it up. There are two three authors I'm not going to name. I picked up some books and I didn't like them. And I am assuming that other books would be also like that. So I'm not reading them. So maybe it's a. Uh, 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 preconceived notion i have so i definitely need to yes. read more <laughs> uh devanch is saying happy to help thank you devanch actually for being so active uh, he has participated yes. a lot <laughs> yes. and uh, that brings us to the end of today's conversation uh thank you for joining me again any parting words from your side from okay So when is your next book coming out Manali <laughs> I am really really waiting for the sequel to Love Triangle Uh it's taking longer than I anticipated but it's definitely coming out uh, I am like I am almost 50% there into the role in fact more than 50% I am there but it is definitely coming out soon Okay great I and we will we are get, going to get to read uh, Varun and Gayatri story yes <laughs> Okay, that is so so great. And by the way, since I asked you that, that reminds me. Yesterday, I was reading a couple of reviews of my book, A Price to Love, and some of the reviewers have already started asking for a sequel. So that <laughs> makes me happy. The book is not even a month old, and some wow. of them are asking for a sequel. So I haven't thought about it, but yes, the thought has been planted in my <laughs> mind. That okay because. And it feels nice that your work yeah. is accepted. That readers are already asking for a sequel yes. because, it's, as I said, it's not even been a month. So, yeah. Ah, uh, so congratulations on that. I already know that the book is doing really well. I have been following your the reviews, and you have also been sharing on your social media what the people are saying. So, congratulations once again because I've already congratulated personally, but congratulations once again on a very successful debut novel. and i hope you will find many more in the coming years from your pen oh, i will keep on writing whether short stories novels or maybe poetry some day it will be something or the other but i will keep on writing as long as i live as i said and that is for sure and thank you so much manali it was great having this chat with you it does not feel like it's a virtual thing okay yeah. it's a normal conversation <laughs> and everything and i so much enjoyed speaking to you same here smita it's always a joy talking to you i i have already mentioned in the previous and session also that it was wonderful talking to you and it's always fun reading your books talking about it so all the best and looking forward to many more books and many more such sessions in the near future <laughs> Thank you, thank you so much, Manali. Have a great weekend, a great and weekend. to all of those who have joined us, thank you so much for joining. Uh, wish you a great weekend. Hope you enjoyed this conversation. Yes. Goodbye, everyone. Bye, Smita. Bye.